there. Now let's check first my default control center. So as you can see, here's how it looks like. Now open link on description. It's up to you to choose the link that requires password or the other link which requires you to follow some steps. I will give the password later on so watch till the end. Then install the app. Open application. All permissions and access is required by the app. You can also support the app creator by joining their Telegram channel. Now it's up to you if you want to use the controls only or use the lock screen too. Choose which theme to apply. Then you can set up your customized wallpaper or just choose from the built-in wallpapers here. A lot of options to choose. So let's apply this one. You can also decide which side of your screen to add the triggers and customize the buttons. Center work perfectly. Then turn on location to get real time weather updates. Here's the trigger. Slide it to the right. And here the lock screen will show. And here's the control center trigger. Then here's our iOS style control center. So this is the updated version of Control Center in iOS 18.1 versions. So here we can customize our settings using this app. Then try to use Spotify and play some music. And then it will automatically be reflected on Control Center. So here we have it. You can use it to next or shuffle your songs. Very simple and easy to use. And that's it for this video. Subscribe.